Papayan, Wikipedia article audio. Papayan, also known as Papaya proteinaceae, is a cysteine protease enzyme present in papaya and mountain papaya. Papayan family Structure Function Uses Immunoglobulins Production U.S. Restrictions on Marketing Unapproved Topical Papayan Products Human Cysteine Proteases from Papayan Family Papayan belongs to a family of related proteins with a wide variety of activities, including endopeptidases, aminopeptidases, dipeptidylpeptidases, and enzymes with both exo- and endopeptidase activity. Members of the papayan family are widespread, found in baculoviruses, eubacteria, yeast, and practically all protozoa, plants and mammals. The proteins are typically lysosomal or secreted, and proteolytic cleavage of the propeptide is required for enzyme activation, although bleomycin hydrolase is cytosolic in fungi and mammals. Papayan-like cysteine proteinases are essentially synthesized as inactive proenzymes with N-terminal propeptide regions. The activation process of these enzymes includes the removal of propeptide regions, which serve a variety of functions in vivo and in vitro. The proregion is required for the proper folding of the newly synthesized enzyme, the inactivation of the peptidase domain and stabilization of the enzyme against denaturing at neutral to alkaline pH conditions. Amino acid residues within the proregion mediate their membrane association, and play a role in the transport of the proenzyme to lysosomes. Among the most notable features of propeptides is their ability to inhibit the activity of their cognate enzymes and that certain propeptides exhibit high selectivity for inhibition of the peptidases from which they originate. The papayan precursor protein contains 345 amino acid residues, and consists of a signal sequence, a propeptide, and the mature peptide. The amino acid numbers are based on the mature peptide. The protein is stabilized by three disulfide bridges. Its three-dimensional structure consists of two distinct structural domains with a cleft between them. This cleft contains the active site, which contains a catalytic diode that has been likened to the catalytic triad of chymotrypsin. The catalytic diode is made up of the amino acids, cysteine 25 and histidine 159. Aspartate 158 was thought to play a role analogous to the role of aspartate in the serine protease catalytic triad, but that has since been disproved. The mechanism by which papayan breaks peptide bonds involves the use of a catalytic triad with a deprotonated cysteine. ASN-175 helps to orient the imidazole ring of his 159 to allow it to deprotonate the catalytic size 25. This cysteine then performs a nucleophilic attack on the carbonyl carbon of a peptide backbone. This forms a covalent acylenzyme intermediate and frees the amino terminus of the peptide. The enzyme is desylated by a water molecule and releases the carboxy terminal portion of the peptide. In immunology, papayan is known to cleave the FC portion of immunoglobulins from the FAB portion. Papayan is a relatively heat-resistant enzyme, with an optimal temperature range of 60 and 70 degrees Celsius. Papayan prefers to cleave at, cleaves here. Hydrophobic is ALA, VAL, LAU, IL, PHE, TRP, or TIR. Papayan breaks down tough meat fibers, and has been used for thousands of years to tend eris meat eaten in its native South America. Meat tenderis in powder form with papayan as an active component are widely sold. Papayan can be used to dissociate cells in the first step of cell culture preparations. 
A 10-minute treatment of small tissue pieces will allow papain to begin cleaving the extracellular matrix molecules holding the cells together. After 10 minutes, the tissue should be treated with a protease inhibitor solution to stop the protease action. Left untreated, papain activity will lead to complete lysis of the cells. The tissue must then be triturated to break up the pieces of tissue into a single cell suspension. It is also used as an ingredient in various enzymatic debreeding preparations, notably Accuzyme. These are used in the care of some chronic wounds to clean up dead tissue. Papayan is added to some toothpastes and mint sweets as a tooth whitener. Its whitening effect is, however, minimal because the papayan is present in low concentrations and is quickly diluted by saliva. It would take several months of use to have a noticeable effect. Papayan is the main ingredient of papakari, a gel used for chemomechanical dental caries removal. It does not require drilling and does not interfere in the bond strength of restorative materials to dentin. Papayan has been known to interfere with urine drug tests for cannabinoids. It is found in some drug detox products. An antibody digested by papayan yields three fragments, 250 Kata Fab fragments and 150 KDAFC fragment. The papayan digested antibody is unable to promote agglutination, precipitation, opsonization, and lysis. Papayan is usually produced as a crude, dried material by collecting the latex from the fruit of the papaya tree. The latex is collected after scoring the neck of the fruit where it may either dry on the fruit or drip into a container. This latex is then further dried. It is now classified as a dried, crude material. A purification step is necessary to remove contaminating substances. This purification consists of the solubilization and extraction of the active papayan enzyme system through a government-registered process. This purified papayan may be supplied as powder or as liquid. On September 23, 2008, the U.S. Food and Drug Administration warned companies to stop marketing ophthalmic balanced salt solutions and topical drug products containing papayan by November 4, 2008. The FDA said, Papayan-containing drug products in topical form historically have been marketed without approval. According to the FDA's statement on the subject, these unapproved products have put consumers' health in jeopardy, from reports of permanent vision loss with unapproved balanced salt solutions to a serious drop in blood pressure and increased heart rate from the topical papayan products, said Janet Woodcock, M.D., Director for the Center for Drug Evaluation and Research. Topical drug ointments containing papayan are used to remove dead or contaminated tissue in acute and chronic lesions, such as diabetic ulcers, pressure ulcers, varicose ulcers, and traumatic infected wounds. Trade names for these products include Accuzyme, Alanfil, Alanzyme, Ethazim, GLaDOS, Kavya, Panafil, Papuria, and Zyox. Other products are marketed under the names of the active ingredients, for instance, Papayan Urea Ointment. In 2008 the FDA announced its intention to take action against these products because it had received reports of serious adverse events in patients using products containing papayan. Reports included hypersensitivity reactions that lead to hypotension and tachycardia. In addition, people allergic to latex can also be allergic to papaya, the source of papayan implying that people with latex sensitivity may be at increased risk of suffering an adverse reaction to a topical papayan drug product. FDA recommended that people with concerns about using topical papayan preparations contact their health care provider about discontinuing use.
CTSB, CTSC, CTSF, CTSH, CTSK, CTSL1, CTSL2, CTSL3, CTSO, CTSS, CTSW, CTSZ.